have now right hand on your heart, left on top, or you might have your hands at heart center. So keeping the eyes closed or the gaze soft. Just listening to my words, and then you might repeat each sentence internally. So just for today, I will not anger. Just for today, I will be grateful. Just for today, I will be kind to every living thing. And to do with that last one, so in yoga we have a chant, which is Loka Samasta Sukino Babantu. And it means, may all beings everywhere be happy and free. And may my thoughts, words and actions contribute to the happiness and freedom of all. You might like to dedicate your class to someone this morning or a situation, maybe it's a person that needs a little love. We can use our, the energy that we're moving. Taking your hands to your heart, just bowing down your head, namaste. We're gonna make our way over to our child's pose, Balasana. So taking your knees wide, big toes touching, heels apart, arms are outstretched. We're taking the arms a little bit wider today. A bit more grounding in space there. Starting to connect to your breath, breathing in through your nose. And out through your nose as well. Two more like Slowly just lifting up your head and walking your hands over to the right side for a stretch. And coming through center, hands over to the left. And slowly coming back to centre, walking your hands towards you, coming to your all four position. Shoulders stacked on top of your wrists here, hips on top of your knees. And we're going to start with a gentle cat cow, so inhaling to lift the gaze, lift the tailbone. And exhaling to round the spine as you gaze to your belly button. Inhaling to lift. And exhaling to curl. Keep this movement going, really trying to let the breath lead. You may stay with your cat cow, we you might start to take some other movements or hip circles, barrel rolls, it could be some neck circles, perhaps even taking a child's pose. So again, just listening in to that intuition within. What does your body need today? Maybe it's some wrist stretches. Taking two more breaths, wherever you're at. And coming back to meet in all four positions. As we inhale, we're sending the right hand up to the sky, the gaze follows. And exhale to thread the arm all the way through under your left shoulder, dropping your right cheek to the wall. Just making sure your hips are stacked on top of your knees here. 
And then left hand can come out forward. It might move more of your lower back. Three breaths here. And releasing that hand down, lifting up, drop to the sky, and exhale it back down to the earth. Getting through to the other side, inhaling left hand high, and threading your arm all the way through, dropping your left cheek this time. Again, making sure you the of knees, taking your arm variation. Three breaths. And releasing that hand down or drawing it back towards you. Inhale, left hand to sky. And exhale to plant it down onto the earth. Spreading your fingers nice and wide here in the all four position. Just grounding down with your knuckles. We're sending the right leg back. Trying to lengthen your tailbone here to navel. And then you might start to lift the right foot to the earth. Take an inhale here. I'm going to exhale the right knee out to the side as if we're tapping the right elbow. Inhale, back. Exhale to tap. Inhaling back. Exhale, tap. Inhaling back. And releasing the knee, taking your child's pose for Lassana. Couple of breaths here. And slowly rising up to all four again. Finding your foundation here with the hands. Sending that left leg back this time, keeping the toes onto the earth and lengthening your tailbone. So as if you're wearing an old pair of jeans. Taking a deep breath in and exhaling, just lifting the foot slightly. Hips are square. Another inhale, exhale to tap left knee to left elbow. Inhale, leg back. Exhale to tap. Inhaling back. Exhale, tap. Inhale, back. Taking one more. And it's something we can anchor ourselves in, especially at this time of going through. How can we maintain that stillness? A sense of centre of self. Slowly rising up now to your all four position. Tucking your toes and exhaling for downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. You might just start to pedal out your feet here. Having a little bend in your knees to encourage your sit bones up and back. As you inhale, you're going to roll forward and let the knees hover off the earth. We're holding here for three, four, two, and one, exhale, downward facing dog. Taking one more round of the inhale, roll you forward. Hovering for three. Three-legged dog, slowly and mindfully, it's square. Dipping down the left knee, untucking the toes, coming for crescent lunge. The hands are in the head here, but just starting by checking the right knees on top of your ankle, so you can really bend into the knee to the stretch, the hip flexor, and then raising your hand up. Your hands are gonna come down to frame your right foot, and you're stepping your right foot out to the side for this lunge. Hands inside, toes pointing out to the right, 
You might take a little rock from right to left here. We won't take the full expression as we're still warming up. One more breath. And then tucking your left toe, sending the right leg back, downward facing dog. Pedal out of your feet. Slowly, mindfully inhaling the left leg up, three-legged dog. And stepping the foot all the way through. Dropping down your right knee, untucking your toes, crescent lunge. Again, scoot back foot far enough forward so the knee is stacked on top of the ankle. Shoulders back and down. Two breath here. Inhaling, hands down to the earth. Exhaling, stepping the left foot outside the left hand. The left hand comes inside and a little rock from side to side for a little lunge. One more breath. And tucking your right toe, sending your left leg back, downward facing dog. We're going to be stepping to our Malasana squat. So the right foot's coming outside the right hand, left outside the left. If you have a block, you might come to sit on it, using your elbows to draw your knees away. Feeling your thumbs connect to the heart. Crown of the head is tall. Making sure you're not sitting too far, so you've still got a lift here. Three deep breaths. Hands are coming down to the earth. You're going to walk your feet towards each other for our ragdoll position, opposite arms to elbow. A little bend in your knees, just taking a gentle sway from side to side. And you might nod your head yes here. And release it no. And even letting your hands come down to the ground. Dropping the weight into the toes a little bit. And here for three rounds of breath. We're going to take a halfway lift, hands coming to shins, flat back, exaggerating this a little bit. Exhaling to fold forward. And again, inhale for halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Slowly you're rising to standing, and your head is going to be the last thing that comes up. Stacking vertebra by vertebra. And then rolling your shoulders all the way behind as you come to standing and forwards. I'm going to take some shoulder shrugs as you're shaking out your wrists, shaking out your feet. You're bending your knees here. As you inhale, shoulders up to ears. And exhale, release. Any tension, let it go. Again, in, shoulders to ears. Exhale, release. We've got two more. Inhaling. And exhale. And you can either have big toes touching her or feet, hip width apart for a bit more grounding. Connecting the thumbs to the heart space. Inhaling your prayer high. Exhale to fold. The right leg as far back as it can go, low lunge, gazing up. Exhaling, left leg downward facing dog. Inhale, forward to plant. 
We're dropping down the knees. We're going to take our baby chest around the push-ups. So as we do this, remembering the elbows want to be coming back and down into ribs, not out to the sides. Your chin might touch the ground, it might not. Whenever you're ready, taking an inhale. Exhale to lower down, elbows into ribs. Inhale it up. Exhale down. Inhale it up. Exhale it down, last one. Sliding through your baby cobra. So arms can be a long time. Get elbows together. I'm going to take a different version today as it's easier when I'm talking. Forehead on top. Kneecaps are lifted. Inhaling to lift your chest. And exhale to lower down. We've got two more. Inhaling up. Exhaling down. Last one. Coming through your child's pose to downward facing dog. Remembering you can always pause in child's pose for lapsa in any part in your practice. These flows can always be skipped as well. Either taking a cat cow or a child's pose. As you inhale, stepping your right leg in between your hands, left leg follows, forward fold. Inhaling, halfway lift, exhale to fold. Inhaling, hands high to the sky, and hands coming through to heart centre. Taking a pause here. Inhaling up. Exhale to fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhaling, left leg back, low lunge, gazing up. Exhaling, right leg downward facing dog. Inhale, forward, left Exhale, dropping knees, chest, chin. Really leading with the chin, bump high, elbows into ribs, pausing there. And sliding through for your baby cobra. Three of these at your own pace. your child's pose to downward facing dog. Two breaths here. As you inhale, stepping left leg in between your hands, right leg follows, forward fold. Inhale for halfway lift. Exhale into fold. Inhaling hands high to the sky and hands coming through to heart centre. Taking your pause. For this next round, when we go to plank, it's your own journey back today. You might be ready for your full chaturanga up dog. So as I said before, tailoring the practice to you. Whenever you're ready, Starting, we'll be meeting in downward facing dog. And then bending your knees in between your hands, spring or step to the front of your mat. Inhale for halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Inhaling, hands high to the sky. And hands coming through to heart centre. One round of breath. For this next round, we're going to be meeting at the front of our mat in mountain pose to Dasana. So whenever you're ready, 
me dejen me dejen loca mountain pose to dasana either having your big toes touching heels apart or as i said before a wider stance today from grounding your arms to the long side of your body kneecaps are lifted lengthening your tailbone to navel right top of the chin and you might close down your eyes or have a soft gaze the crown of the head is drawing to the sky Starting to find that sense of stillness within your body. At the start of class, you set your intention to dedicate this class to someone or a situation. If you did, just bring that to, to mind now as a reminder. One more breath here. And hands coming to heart centre. Come to the front of your mat if you're not there already. Inhaling your prayer high. And exhaling to fold forward. Inhaling halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Inhaling your right leg as far back as it could go, low lunge. Exhale, left leg down from the floor. Inhale, right leg up to square, three-legged dog, slow and steady. Exhaling, right knee to right elbow, tiger curl, pause there. Inhale, the leg back up. Exhale, right knee to left elbow across the body, pause. Inhaling, up. Exhaling, knee to nose, rounding your spine, step the foot through. We're coming up to our high lunge with cactus palms. So the right knee tracking on top of the ankle here. You're engaging your left thigh and your knee. Back. And exhale to hover down, just letting that left knee go. Inhaling up. Exhaling down. We've got two more. Move with your breath. Inhaling up. Hands coming alongside you for arrowhead. A long straight line from your heel to the crown of your head here. So we're transitioning to warrior three, hands coming to heart centre. And stepping onto that standing leg, your left leg might just be here today, or you might start to raise it up behind. Perhaps even taking your hands forward. Space limitations, two breaths. Folding forward for standing split. Couple of breaths here. And then we're sending the left leg as far back as we can go, reversing our warrior, still bending into that front. Slowly cartwheeling your hands down to the earth. Right leg back, downward facing dog. Your choice of your flow today, you're skipping it. As you inhale, raising your left leg up to the sky this time, three-legged dog. Exhaling, left knee to left elbow, high as you can. Pause. Inhale, the leg up. Exhale, left knee to right elbow. Pause. Inhale, up. Exhale, knee to nose, round your spine. Pause, step through. We're coming to high lunge. Catch your arms. And checking your left knee on top of your ankle here. Engaging your right leg. Knee cat lifts. As you inhale, you're straightening both legs. 
Exhale to hover the right knee off the earth.
slowly from here, coming up to seated. And if you have got a block, just grabbing it, we're going to be taking our camel back bend today. So, option to have the block either in between the thighs, or you might have it in between your feet, just where the heels are. You're imagining you're pressing your pelvis against an invisible wall, and all the time we're doing our camel, we're leaning back, we want to maintain this, so we don't want to be here. If we're here, we've gone too far. So we can really take this as quite a small movement. Hands are onto the small of the lower back, and the elbows are drawing toward each other here. We're trying to lift the chest, chest apart as we pull back. You might keep your chin tucked, or you might take it back. Be careful of the neck, not going too far. Whenever you're ready, taking a deep breath in through your nose and exhale through your mouth. Inhaling to lift your chest. Exhale to start to slightly lean back, pressing your pelvis against that invisible wall. We're here for three rounds of breath. Really feeling that expansion from the heart. And slowly tucking the chin, coming up, sitting onto the heels, hands on your knees. You might close your eyes. Couple of breaths here. And we've got one more round of this. If you have got camel in your practice or you've done this before, you might come to the full extension, holding onto the heels, leaning back. If not, hands onto the small of the lower back, pelvis against your invisible wall, taking a deep breath in through the nose to start, and exhale through the mouth. Inhale, start to lift the chest, and exhale, leaning back. Inhaling and exhaling, leading with the chest. One more breath here. And inhaling, tucking the chin, coming back to centre. Exhale, sitting onto the heels. Two breaths As you inhale, we're going to take hands to the sky and exhaling to twist to the right. Right hand can come down to the floor or to the and exhaling to twist. One more here. Sky. Exhaling, twisting to left. Again, left hand either to the floor or to the lower back. Two breaths. And slowly coming to centre. Legs are straight. You might come to sit onto a blanket so you have a pelvic. As we inhale, hands coming to sky. And exhaling to fold forward over the straight leg. Hands might reach your feet or they might just be alongside your body. Trying to have sternum to close. Inhaling left. And exhaling to fold. Letting each breath take you a tiny bit deeper. One more here. And then slowly rising up, extending the left leg straight, flexing the foot, right foot's coming into thigh. Sitting nice and tall, inhaling hands high. Exhaling to fold forward over your left leg.
and slowly rising up. We're taking both legs forward now for Pashimottanasana. Tiny bend in your knees. Inhaling, hands up. Exhaling to fold, either hands coming to feet or as I said before, alongside the body. Spine is straight, so we don't want to be here. Chest lifting. And slowly rising back up, making a diamond with your feet. Bound angle, inhaling your hands high and exhaling to fold forward, hands either around the toes or under the ankles, letting your head be heavy here. And you might like to bring something that you're grateful for to mind today. We'll also say gratitude to the practice of yoga and for us being able to practice together even in these circumstances still coming together as a community Slowly now rising up, extending your legs straight. We will be taking a short meditation. Either you can take this seated or you might wish to come down before your Shavasana. It's quite a relaxing one, so your choice. You're coming down, your hands are forward and you're slowly going to be lowering all the way down to the earth. Slowly, slowly. And you may wish to take a happy baby here or a reclining twist, something just to finish off your practice. Those of you who've come to my class before, we've done this meditation before from Tick Not Hand. I think it's a really nice way for us to drop into that calm space, a feeling of gratitude and of stillness within. If you are lying down or sitting, closing your eyes, and just letting go of any thoughts as you draw your attention to each inhale and each exhale. Starting to let your body soften. And breathing in, I know I am breathing in. Breathing out, I know I am breathing out. As you inhale, Repeating the word in. As you exhale, out. Inhaling, in. Exhale, out. 
Keep that going in your mind's eye with each breath. Breathing in, my breath has become deep. Breathing out, my breath has become slow. As you inhale, repeating the word deep. As you exhale, slow. Inhaling deep. Exhaling slow. Letting those become your words with each breath. I feel calm in body and mind. Breathing out, I smile and release. As you inhale, repeating the word calm. As you exhale, smile and release. Inhale, calm. Exhale, smile and release. Breathing in, I dwell deeply in the present moment. Breathing out, I am alive and aware. As you inhale, repeating the word present moment. As you exhale, alive and aware. Let those become your words with each breath.
And now leaving that behind, letting your mind do whatever it wants to do. It wants to think or to be clear, giving it that space, permission. Coming to your final pose of Shavasana. I will be doing some distant Reiki, which I learned on my level two. So if this is something you would like to receive, you'll just be open to it. If not, it will just go out to the universe. Just starting to let your body soften and relax down. Letting the eyes relax into the back of their socket. Relaxing any tension around your forehead, eyebrow centre. Relaxing your jaw, tongue heavy in your mouth. Letting your face and your whole head be heavy. Your shoulders, neck, each arm is heavy and relaxed. Your elbows, wrists and fingers. Letting them soften and surrender. Letting your chest barely be soft. Pelvis, each leg. Relaxing your knees, shins, ankles, feet and toes. Letting your whole body be heavy. Letting your whole body be heavy as you absorb the benefits of your practice today.
starting now to slowly bring your awareness back into your physical body. We're starting to take a few deeper breaths. Letting your belly rise and fall. You might wiggle your fingers and your toes. Maybe rolling your wrists and your ankles. Maybe stretching your whole body, stretching your arms and your legs. Perhaps a sorry yawn. And then just rolling over to one side and pausing in the fetal position. Curling up there. 